Uh, my name is Colonel Keith Lemon, K-E-I-T-H, L-E-M-M-O-N. So I'm a pediatrician and an adolescent medicine specialist. And uh, back at Madigan Army Medical Center, I'm the chief of the Department of Soldier and Community Health. So I am the physician on the medical outreach team for our, uh, our outreach engagement mission here to Palau. Yeah, so today we're here at the uh, Palau National Hospital in Karor, which is the, uh, one of the largest cities in Palau. Um, <clears throat> so uh, as you mentioned, we did just return from a medical outreach mission to some of the outer islands, uh, Peleliu and Angar. Uh, and so today we're here talking to some of the uh, medical staff, nurses, administrators at the, uh, at the larger kind of uh, tertiary medical center here in, in Palau uh, and exchanging information with them. Uh, we did talk quite a bit about our outreach mission and what we found out at the, some of the outer islands. Um, <clears throat> they send outreach teams out to the islands as well. So we're able to kind of exchange information and, and notice similarities, a lot of uh, diabetes and hypertension and, and obesity uh, in the population. So we talked about that and kind of the treatment strategies. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I am a pediatrician and so uh, I actually met with two of the pediatricians here at the National Hospital and we discussed uh, a lot of information today about taking care of children. So. Uh, everything from prenatal care to uh, birth and uh, early childhood care, immunizations, well child visits, uh, nutrition in childhood. Uh, and then we uh, talked about, um, uh, they mentioned that they're really concerned about the emotional and behavioral health of their uh, children and especially of their adolescents. So we talked a little bit about um, stress and resilience and coping uh, with the uh, pediatricians here in addition to all the physical health issues that we discussed. Yeah, I think, uh, I think our goal here in, uh, in the long run is to uh, increase our connection and, and build our, uh, our relationship with the country of Palau. So um, our part in that as the medical outreach team is to, uh, is to gather information about the health uh, concerns and needs of the Palauan people uh, and to uh, see what we can do to, to help with, through education, through diagnosis, through treatment uh, and then as we, we, we do that, kind of as a sign of goodwill to the, to the people here and to the government, uh, and then as we potentially plan future engagements, uh, we can better focus the things that we need to do, the uh, specialists, the equipment, the uh, material that we might need to bring in future engagements. So I've been on several uh, medical outreach missions in my career, uh, initially in Honduras when I was a, a young resident, and then uh, in Iraq and Afghanistan as, as part of some of our combat <clears throat> operations in uh, OEF and OIF. Uh, but this particular outreach reach mission was nice. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a peaceful environment. The people here are, are fantastic, amazing. They have a strong sense of community. Uh, they have a beautiful island. Uh, so, um, you know, kind of the extracurricular activities here were, were fantastic. Uh, and <clears throat> uh, just kind of bonding and connecting with the people both the, uh, the patients that we saw, the students that we did outreach to, <clears throat> uh, as well as the government officials that we interacted with. Uh, it was just a, a, a really uplifting and positive experience all around. And I think <clears throat> the entire team felt uh, very similar. I think it's really important uh, that we develop these relationships with Palau because, uh, again, as we uh, further our cooperation uh, internationally with, with the country, uh, you know, they see the type of people that Americans are, that we are uh, kind and giving and, and generous, and uh, that, uh, is, which is very similar to the Palauan people. So I think it helps build our credibility with the Palauan people and the Palauan government. So uh, if, as we uh, grow our relationship, uh, return in the future, uh, they are able to trust us and, uh, and feel good about our presence here. Yeah, uh, the major takeaway from our interactions with uh, the, the state uh, and the, the major hospital uh, personnel today was that, uh, that there are, are still a lot of unmet healthcare needs here in Palau. Uh, I, I think an important part is uh, it seems like they do have very expert uh, clinicians and support staff and you know, ancillary folks like dietitians. Um, uh, and they, they follow very closely American recommendations from the, the uh, CDC, Center for Disease Control. Um, but I think we were able to gain 
some insight onto what specific things we can we can bring in the future to uh, to the plow and people and the plow and healthcare system when we uh, return in the future.